For subtitles, please click here and choose your preferred language. My son was exactly 100 days old when Sanjay died. Worst three hours of my life. Because you know, hope is so difficult. I can deal with the death, I can't deal with the hope. My world began and ended with Sanjay. Sanjay used to fly a lot. And the previous evening, we had gone flying on a plane. I burst into tears and cried and cried and cried. So he sat down, you know, he came down very fast. And he said, what's wrong with you? And I said, you won't fly this plane again. And I went straight back. And I remember my mother-in-law and Mr. Dhawan were there that time. And I said, I want you to forbid Sanjay to fly this plane. And I got completely agonized about it, you know, this particular plane. And I really, I said, I've never asked you anything in my life. But now I want you to put your foot down and tell Sanjay he can't fly this plane. And my mother-in-law said, look, if Menaka is so upset about it, Sanjay, don't fly this plane. No, you, and Sanjay, had agreed until Mr. Dhawan said, oh, come on, you know, women, I mean, you know, he said it more respectfully, but the idea was that Menaka is a woman and she would get nervous. And I kept saying, but I've never been nervous before and we've flown so many planes. But um, somehow then it turned into a joke. But I was upset the entire night I sat up. I've never been so uh, upset in my life. And finally I went to sleep at about three, um, after huge agitation you know, in my heart. And um, the next morning, I was woken up at about 7.38, and the ayah said that you have to go to hospital. Go quickly. And I knew, I mean, I knew and yet didn't know. So I didn't change or anything. I sort of just rushed there. And um, I saw Sanjay's body being taken out of the ambulance. And it was as if somebody kicked me in the stomach, you know. And I sort of keeled over and just said, ow. Oh. And then I was told he was alive. And that was the worst period because um, when we, my mother looked came and said, he's alive. And then she put me into a room and locked the door from outside in Willingdon Hospital. And I sat there and I kept saying, God, please let him be alive. I'll go away. I'll do anything you want. And for three hours, I think it was the worst three hours of my life. Because, you know, hope is so difficult. I can deal with the death. I can't deal with the hope. And then after three hours, he came and said he would, he died. And it was as if, you know, that anxiety period was over. And then I could deal with it. And then I don't remember the next year. <laughs> Almost as if I woke up and um, one year later, so to ask me what happened after that, it's a bit difficult. I was very young, you must remember, I was 23. And my mother-in-law was even younger because her whole world shattered and she just wasn't the same person. Mm -hmm. And um, she did her best in the beginning, you know, even though she was completely out of it. And I was so like a zombie. And even though I walked and talked like a little Barbie doll, I really wasn't aware of anything that was going on. My son was exactly 100 days old when Sanjay died. In fact, when he died, I really didn't even know which color I liked or whether I liked wearing clo this clothes or that clothes or what I liked. My sort of world, it sounds really odd now, but my world began and ended with Sanjay. I didn't know whether I could stay in the house. I didn't know whether I had to leave the house. I didn't know what to do with myself. Members of the family just being mean for no reason whatsoever. He was sitting next to her and she was feeding him food. And then he turned around and he said, Daddy, I'm tired. And we all burst out laughing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.